Whoa, that's better. Is the grass move? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> what's this? It's a neat scene. Beach, yeah, waves in here. Are you sure? <laughs> What's with the beach going through? More beach. Uh, all right. Uh, let's zoom out. That is right here. Right. Let's find a river. Yes. Uh, all right. We also got our laser gun. Or whatever the hell this is. So uh, let's put it to good use. Uh, I'll cut the. Alright. Cut the river in half. And the frame rate increases as the lights disappear. And we're back to 130 FPS. Um, <laughs> look what I did. Okay. It does not like that. It's like, no, dude. Looks like they don't have a sort of voxel-based approach. It's more of a flat mesh and a height map. Height map, yes, that's it. What the hell? Okay, uh, cool. Um, mm -hmm. sure, okay. Uh, neat. The grass level. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh yeah. Uh yeah. Uh yeah. Uh yeah. Uh yeah. Uh yeah. What is that? What is that? What in the world? Zoink. What? <laughs> Why is this split line? That's terrible. Uh... Uh huh. Well, it does look cool. Okay, I'll give it that. The the freaking trees, but like they always face you. So when you do that, it looks terrible. Uh. Like okay, far away trees. Yes, that's a great strategy. But uh, nearby trees, you should totally. They should totally be rendered like actual trees. It probably like 
need a lot more processing power, but whatever, am I right? Ah, uh, Nito. Yeah, dude. Wow, Nito. What the? F this is a mountain? Never found a mountain before. Let's go mountain climbing. Oh, well, that was fun. I'm king of the world. What the? Interesting. Uh, there's a very easy way to render fog if if you have this mesh volume. You could, uh, like, instead of just you just uh, oh, it's raining. Neat. Uh, instead of whatever they're doing, they could uh, use the mesh mesh volume thing where it, it uh, figures out how long the ray going through the mesh is. Or yeah, so you you it's basically you render the back. And then you render the front, and you can use the depth information to figure out how thick it is, and render the fog based on that. But this fog looks great. Look at that foggy landscape. I love the render distance too. And now we're here. Well, it's neat. It's neat. I I don't know why I keep do, Wait, is this Is there different densities of fog? That would be impressive. The water doesn't look right in the fog. Okay, I'm done.